yo, yo, this is it. <laughs> She's like, who's that? Charles. Night. Laugh. We're walking through the street right now and checking out uh, Jazz Forte Lounge, which is this way, Edwin, Haley here, just exploring. I'm not even sure if we can go here right now. <laughs> oh, it's a wedding? We show up uninvited. Oh, we're not invited? No. We're fashionably no, late, though. It's a, it's a corporate event. Oh, I oh shit, okay. I thought the door. Oh, shit. I was like, what Walk is this? <laughs> I was like, what is this? It's very official. Is there a cover? American theater. I'm not judging, I'm just curious. Watch it with that old man. I didn't say it like that. Look at that fan. 
Fancy Church. La bulle. After this, we're gonna go to Cypress Gardens. It's where um, Haley's like breaking shit over here. <laughs> and uh, it's a place where it's like a park where you can paddle a boat. It's got like alligators there too. This place is also famous for uh, filming a scene of the notebook too as well. Check this out. Just arrived at Cypress Gardens. Very welcoming. watching I feel watched we came back and we're experts we're experts at boating we know what we're doing we graduated from we graduated from boating school and we serve oh we also survived the alligators too at the same time so Crash landing. Mayday, mayday. We're going down. And then, you know, they give you instructions, basic instructions. And then from there, we paddled and it was very peaceful. I was able to set up the um, music, put some Japanese ambience music on, and I was just like floating on cloud, cloud nine. So. Yeah. And we there got we to go. see some alligators and some turtles. So that was fun. I was a little scared. It was actually Not a statue. Lie. It was a statue. <laughs> some like turtles. We, we, we got close to it though. We got close. It, was. it looked and, very, very real. And then we were like, oh, let's, let's, let's sneak up on it so it doesn't jump into the water. And we get up to it and it's like, it's a statue. It got <laughs> super real though. What's your name? You said, what's my name? I said, what's your name? Edwin. What about yours? I know, right? This one's like, what's your name? This one's like, here, see my feathers. <laughs> That's the thing. When you came, she said somebody told two of them, like, battling yesterday. What? 
and she said oh. they were females. I'm like, females? Out in the water? Yeah, yeah around. They were funny for their man. They're like, get off yeah, of my man. I was like, that's backwards. Like, usually. There's butterflies in there? Oh, hey, what's going on? You heard there's butterflies here? Huh? We heard there's butterflies? Yeah, you, you gotta catch you gotta catch them. They oh, there it is. Catfish. No. We found the yellow butterfly, actually. Well, have you, have you seen where the caterpillars are? Oh, oh there's no. caterpillars right now. And they generally lay them on the bottom of the... Oh. No, those are aphids. Those are not eggs. Uh, but the, the aphids are fine. Anyway, monarchs lay on milk, and that's the only thing they eat. So if you want to. This is saltwater. Saltwater. Saltwater cowboys restaurants. All right, we gotta wait 30 minutes to eat here at Saltwater Cowboys. Oh, they have a view up there for a little bit. One two one two. My check one two one two. Yo yo, what up, peeps? This is Edwin from the Travel Vlog, bringing you another episode. Um, but this episode is different. Um, not Miami or anything like that, but maybe close close to that, although it's somewhat. Um, Charleston. So the video is focused on Charleston and Savannah. Although Charleston, we're gonna spend a lot more time um, than in Savannah. Savannah, unfortunately, we're gonna be there for at least like a day, um, at least. Um, but we're gonna stay throughout the, the night, basically, towards the end of the night. Um, but before that, Charleston, a um, few places that we're gonna hit. We already hit one um, earlier today in the morning. We did uh, paddle boating, and it's awesome. Uh, black water, uh, amazing swamp in Cypress Gardens, right? Cypress Gardens. So that was absolutely amazing. I love the ambience, the vibe there was absolutely wonderful. It's like a scene out of the notebook. It was definitely, uh, well, actually the scene was filmed from the notebook uh, movie um, at Cypress Gardens. Interesting enough. Um, but absolutely amazing. We came from that. Very peaceful, very calming. If you guys want to go and check that out, you should definitely, uh, definitely do recommend going there. Um, and did take video of it, which is awesome. I put some music in there too to add to the, the vibe as well. Uh, peaceful Japanese music. Uh, you can't go wrong with Japanese, uh, peaceful Japanese music. Um, and what did you think about the place? That was really nice. Swamp area. I think that's what it's called. Swamp aquarium. You can see all the animals that live in the swamp. So you can see that. And we got to see some butterflies and alligators. Yep, there was also a separate spot to um, for we already said butterflies, but there's um, also parrots too. We saw like four different kinds of um, species of parrots. Um, we saw like African gray and macaw. Um, what's the the cockatoo? The cockatoo. The cockatoo, the one with the, the yellow hair, the funky yellow hair. Yeah. Um, and that one actually said hi. <laughs> that yeah. one actually and it said, said hi. It said, What's your name? It said, like, Oh, it's talking to you. I'm like, Yo, my name is Ed. What's up, man? We should chill one time. And we, should hang, on a show. We, should, we should hang out sometime, man. On a show. Oh, yeah. I'm it was definitely showing off a peacock showed off. Oh, Speaking yeah. about showing off, the peacock actually showed off. It spread his uh, feathers, whatever you call it. Uh, very beautiful bird. Uh, 
Kind of ruffles. Ruffles in a good way. To attract, to attract mates. Um, but yeah, so like right now we're just kind of like uh, chilling, eating first uh, because we're going to go to the next uh, place activity. And it's going to be another boat um, type uh, thing, but it's going to be like a tour. And, and they're going to point us to certain areas that we could uh, go to that they recommend. So that's going to be pretty good. Um, right now we are in the... Charleston, we are in some big thing. Okay. Uh, summer, summer, summer. I can't remember. Let us across the way. We Look at us, we don't remember where we're at. <laughs> where are we right now? I don't know. <laughs> By the way, she has her YouTube video, so if you guys want to follow her, yeah. uh, help her out. She's just starting her YouTube video. She, she uploaded her first video. Okay. So, it's about me. So, it's be about nice, me. so be nice on her, guys, all right? Just be nice. This is her first video. No, but it was uh, actually a good video um, for the first time. And uh, I liked how you actually structured it. She did, um, what, 10 things about you, 10 things about myself. Yeah, there was so, a lot of facts about me, a lot of questions. Yeah, those things are nice because, like, you know, you can start off with like any topic that you would like to, you know, speak about, you know, and um, you can just go off with that, and then you can easily transition to the next topic. Um, so that's like a good way to start off the uh, YouTube video, of course. Like they want to know who you are, and then what you're gonna do, right? Um, what do we expect from you, first of all? Um, what's your personality? Um, what's your types of hobbies you do? Um, so you can set the tone. Yeah, it's getting hotter now. I thought it would be like cooler getting over here, but apparently not. It's like right now, yeah, that definitely feels like almost 70. I think they probably end up reaching 70. Um, I think peak, peak temperature will be like around 3, uh, 3 p.m. or something like that. It's not 3 p.m. yet. But yeah, um, show her some love. She's starting her YouTube uh, channel. And Make a lot more videos. Yeah, I'll to, try. To come. See how far I get. So, like, what's what's gonna be like uh, your niche or um, it's just gonna or in be, general? Um, travel, of course, and like hair and makeup, and just like my everyday life. My thoughts. It's a place, a place for me to just express myself. That's pretty much it. Yeah, and she does. Um, more like vlogs. I heard you dance, you do uh, dance. Oh, and also dance health videos. and fitness too. I'm on the little giant So, like, um, it's gonna be a mixture of things basically. Yeah. Like, I hear, I hear like three three different things there. Yeah. It'd be cool to see like a playlist on that. You know, yeah. Separate it so that way you can see like the health stuff and then cooking because you like to cook too as well. So that helps. Oh, I'm learning to cook. She's using HelloFresh. <laughs> I use that too. It's a yeah. good service. It's really though. good. It's like gourmet. So it's try really it out. Good. Free plug. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna be uh, eating pretty soon. Um, it's been a while now. It's uh, when the weather is gonna come out. Maybe okay, like 20 more minutes or something. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. We want to head to the, the boat place or do something in between before we do the tour. So yeah. Overall, we'll nice vibe. And, and then uh, also we're gonna have. We're gonna experience some more nightlife tonight too after the boat tour because we have a little bit more time in the evening to do other stuff. So and we got invited to a show for free. So you remember the code the code word. Just so friends. Out, yeah. Just friends. I actually remember that. Yeah. Um, yeah. When we first got here, we came here like late. Um, so it was wrong. Uh, well, we got here at 8 p.m. Yeah. Uh, yesterday. And then we just went out to check out the uh, King Street. King Street is it seems like a popular spot. I think people actually go to. Um, and there's bars on each side, um, kind of like uh, Austin, Texas. If you guys ever been to Austin, Texas, uh, Sixth Street. It's kind of a similar sign, kind of setup. So we went to like Forte Jazz Lounge. Um, really nice spot. It's very like you know low key, you know, relaxing type vibe. I guess you can say. And there wasn't too much people there because it's a Thursday night too as well. Um, good snack soup. You guys want to try out the snacks in the bar in the back. Um, the lady was nice enough to uh, offer us uh, the seats in the front. 
because we paid for like $20 seats or something in the back. Seats. And then she's like, yeah, oh, I you can sit in the front. So I was like, okay. Yeah. So we got access to it. It was like a slow night. So she's like, let's sit in the front. Yeah. VIP access. It was a Thursday night seat. It was a Thursday night, so I'm not upset. But yeah, well, we'll keep, uh, keep you guys on the loop on what's going to happen next. All right. <laughs> She's like, oh, I don't want to interrupt this week. Look at that. Yeah. As the camera focuses on the deliciousness here, pineapple, pineapple and uh, coconut. Yeah. Does it taste like coconut? I can't tell. I can't tell. It's good. Charleston Harbor Tours. We're about to aboard. Hey, hey what's going on, man? Hey, how are you? We have a bar here, a little bar area, which is pretty dope. As well as a couple more points before we get back to the back, so just sit tight and have you over there. We went to this entrance. It's kind of funny. We went to this entrance, and then the guy told us we need to. Um, this is like private island. You need to have the specific name in order to get past me. I'm like, okay. You got Michael Jackson was here or some shit? He's like, yep. You need to know the specific name. I'm like, okay, buddy. Um, never gave us like an options. Like, oh yeah, well you can go here. Like, what are you looking for? Um, here's the options. You can go here, A, B, or C, or D. He's just like, no, you need a specific name, the right time, the right moment. Like, All right, very exclusive guy. So I turned around, and then we just like looked up that there was a beach here. So we just were like, alright, we'll just go to the beach. And then came back and realized that we didn't have to go to the gate. We're here at the beach. So peaceful.
found some kind of Pokemon over there. Some like rare Pokemon. Oh, it's an armadillo. <laughs> Yo, calm down. Here. Now we can't get up close to it. We're in a different part of this place. This management wildlife area. It's basically several uh, numbers on the map that indicate what trails you can go to and each trail has a you know distinct certain form of wildlife. We spotted in the, the armadillo earlier, it was a very small one. Take a look at these like plants though. To go some exploring today. <laughs> I am the Australian guy called Matt Sullivan. <laughs> no explore nature. <laughs> Ouch! Hold on. Got caught. Gotta watch your step in these places. I'm his assistant. I love nature. <laughs> Oops. I fell. <laughs> nice. Stopped at some random house here. Apparently it's abandoned. Hey, at least see some YouTubers go inside this house. Looks like the office or something. Never mind, false alarm. <laughs> yeah, it's old. May 11th, 1983. No, 33. Oh, that's like so far back. Yo, 1912. It's even older. Yo, this, yo, this tombstone is like very interesting. Though. It's like a marble tombstone, I think. It's made out of marble. And there's like a flower right around top. There's another tombstone just chilling right here. You can tell like it's a little bit more elevated and, and the ground seems to look more hollow. Yeah. They dug it up and put the guy in here. In memory of Gato? Gato Diaz? This guy's man. You like yo, only 42 years old. Died at 31st. At 31st, I can't see there's like some other sketch. It's like so 
the way the hand just comes out, guys. Oh my god. It's <laughs> like, like the beginning of a movie. 19. What? 18 something. Edwin here, just arrived at this abandoned house. In this wild site, wildlife habitat, plantation area. And look at it, look how creepy it is. If you were here at night, you would just obviously not come here. Out of all places. Um, would you like to live here? For sale. <laughs> it's for sale. You never know, so there could be a ghost in here. I mean, who knows who died here? We don't know anything about this. We just literally got here. I mean, Haley, um, she sees some YouTube videos and then of people like coming here, and, and then they discovered this house, and um, apparently they checked it out. So this is it. This is the house that people go to. YouTubers, at least. House. Yeah, so we saw a sign out there in the front that said Beethoven House. And that's literally all we know, folks. Let's see if there's an easier access. Oh, we can see the place from here, actually. <laughs> Look at that. This is definitely like an old style. Take home. Probably at least, um, what? I thought, I, was, I thought I was blood for a second. I'm like, yo. That's all that's.
random office chair here. Arrived here at Prince William's Parish Church. And here's the entrance walking up to the ruins of what used to be a church. The building looks exactly like this. And it was also burnt down. So like all these buildings they get burnt down. Churches. I'm just joking. You know, people <laughs> <laughs> like why burn down the church people? It's like, don't you like God? Maybe it was possessed by demons or Demons did it? Yeah, demons did it. She looked blaming the demons. And it's like what? Let's fly this thing. Pretty young. This syrup. Bright. Bright. He, he early tastes. 
Tova. The promises, the promised, blessed. When this tomb so something remains, we are bold. Mary Bold. Oh. Was it Mary Bold the trail? Or was it something else? Mary or something? Wife of John Dill, how much beloved and laminated. Let's make a town right here. Like Can we just imagine like going to the Well there was big scare too, so. Yo, 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 no. <laughs> um, just change it up a bit. But we're here at the old Sorreal. It's called Sorreal. We have a little sign. You get welcome to... And of course, uh, we're in Savannah. So this is where you find this place at. Um, front, I think it's the, the side of the game. It's the entrance, the main entrance, but... This is the front part, I would say. So we're going to investigate this. Yeah, it's gonna be so interesting. First time like a real actual investigation of a house like this. Apparently this is like one of the most haunted yeah. houses in, uh, in America. So we'll see. So I'm curious to see how to find it But if I don't, if nothing happens. It's okay, so I won't be like so disappointed. But at least I get to experience this in some way, fashion or form. But I think the adrenaline start pumping once we actually get in there. Like when we're out here, like eh, it's nothing. But when we get there, like when the lights are all off and shit, it's gonna get dark. You know what? They're not gonna leave the lights on, right? Yeah. Then when you when you investigate, like all the lights are off. It's like completely dark. Yeah, that's so. Like, yeah, you didn't know that. You don't watch ghost hunts. The ghost hunters, yeah. ghost hunters, right here. Hey, what's going on? Are you here for investigation tonight? Yeah, for we're not. You know what? We're not even sure uh, which one. I know there's like two different ones, like lock in or something like that, and then Is after hours. But... So this is the grounds right now. Looks like an addition to the house. Or something. A little nice fountain. Actually, it's peaceful. Like I, don't know. I feel really like, relaxed right now. Like I'm about to go to like a massage uh, therapist. Yeah. <laughs> and then we go there. It's like, oh, we found out that um, they don't do lock-in. So lock-in is usually um, after um, after hours, which is like after 2 a.m. So you stay until like 4 a.m. But you know, uh, they don't do that. So the lady just told me. So we're actually signed up for the after hours, which is until 2 a.m. So, I mean, not a lot of time. I would like to do the one um, until 4 a.m. But, I mean, that's so cool. To, even to, like, witness a, um, a piece like this and knowing that, you know, Ghost Hunters, like, uh, film here, um, it's actually a pretty big deal for me. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty decent, it's a decent big house, too, as well. So, um, so this is actually pretty cool. It is my privilege to lead your investigation tonight. Now, I do want to go over a few things before we officially begin. The first is that this is going to be a lights out event. Sometimes people are surprised when you start turning lights out, so we will be in the dark. It's not like you can't see your hand in front of your face for the most part. Then I'm going to give you flashlights. I'm obviously not shoving you into a museum in the dark or anything, but it will be a lights out event. The other bit of information I want to make sure that you know beforehand is that this event will be live streamed tonight. So we have a YouTube page and it will be live streamed there. You could be YouTube sensations by tomorrow morning. You won't be. We don't have that many subscribers. Uh, but your friends and family can watch in real time as you're investigating here tonight. Does anyone want to share the link with their friends or family? It will be posted and you can always go back and share it later. Nobody wants to share it. Great. You, I, can't, I can't help you, but this is the hardest part of the night. It takes up like half of the door. Does anybody want to share it? Do you want to? Am I shutting you down? The link to the live stream. So if you wanted to share it like via your Facebook, 
then your friends and family can click on the link and they can watch you Actually, while you're investigating brother, tonight in real time. I told them how to get the Oh, great. Then, yeah, you're one step ahead. Perfect. Uh, how, do you, that works. how do we get access to that link? So the YouTube page is official SWH, as in found her most entrusted enslaved person, and she would have asked her. Her most entrusted enslaved person's name was Molly. Now the third location where everyone will be investigating tonight, that's the upper level of the carriage house. That is where the enslaved people lived, and Molly had her own private room. When it's your turn to investigate over there, I'll bring you up and turn on a light and give you more information. But on March 27th, 1860, Matilda couldn't find That's my GoPro. Matilda? Oh, her name is right there. Oh, it's Matilda. Matilda. Because if they pick, if they say anything, I'll just. For anyone that's here, what's your name? Yeah, Did you I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get her to like do a voice, uh, well, a voice recording on her phone. That's why I like figured I'll just like let it run, you know, yeah, and then just come back home and just. Yeah. Huh? You got a name? Response? We got, we thought we got Crystal. Yeah, Did I you get the same thing? No, no, I heard you guys. I yeah, she, she definitely got something. Huh? Do you have any idea? <laughs> what did you say? About what? Okay. About what? This first area that we're walking into, this was the enslaved people's communal living area. So there were roughly 12, 13 men, women, and children who were all living up here at once. They did not have electricity. They did not have plumbing. They did not have privacy. We don't know if they had any furniture. Maybe they were sleeping on a box. Maybe they were sleeping on the floor. You can ask them what it was like Back here would have been their kitchen area because that fireplace is original. So that had to be where they were cooking their food. And food is always a good topic of conversation, so I would talk about food. Now Bobby, the little boy that I mentioned downstairs, could very well be up here because he would have lived up here. So maybe try the flashlight trick with him. Put your flashlights like on the low tables because he's a little kid. Now, I would also try to use their spirit box to reach out to a spirit named Samuel. Uh, everyone on staff calls him Mr. Samuel. We think he likes that, so I'd call him that. I would also listen for music with your spirit box, which is confusing because it's a radio. But if you hear music that overlays multiple sweeps, that's a manipulation. It shouldn't last that long. So ask for music or just listen out for it. Now through the doorway, that was Molly's bedroom. The reason that the REM pod is in the chair in the doorway like that is because the camera is all the way back here. So if the REM pod were to go off, it's helpful if you step aside so that we can see it, just to make sure it isn't battery draining. And you're more than welcome to go inside of Molly's bedroom tonight, but I would say four is a bit intimidating just because it's the smallest space that you're gonna be in. So one or two tends to be better for that space. Um, the last thing I'll say about her room is that you don't know very much about Molly because we don't know very much about Molly. All anybody ever talks about with Molly are these horrible things that happened to her. So why not go in there and ask her about any other day? Why not ask her 
what she liked to cook or what her hair looked like or where her family was from. You know, get to know her outside of this one narrative that everybody already knows. I would not want to come through to talk about the bad things that happened to me. So that's my two cents there. Now there are some chairs up here that you're allowed to sit on. You can even move them around. I think one of the groups brought them actually into Molly's room. I think I might bring them out. Anytime you want to communicate, you can set this K2 meter off. What type of food do you like to eat? Hey, Molly. Is Mr. Samuel here? Molly, could you tap this night table for us? Hey, my phone is always on night mode. Oh, I like a whole bunch of them. What did you guys normally eat? Was it good? Was it bad? <clears throat> Did you guys get anything? Did she say I'm not really. No? I have to look through all the evidence. Like okay. her, look through pictures and listen. Got it. To the videos. Flashlight, you can also turn that on too. like the sound of the party that you're hearing, right? Uh, people do have music come through up in the parlors as well. Were, was it coming through the whole time you were in there? Was it, yeah. And then I was standing right there. It felt like something was tugging on the back of my jacket. Aha, uh -huh. when yeah. you're doing the tutorial? Yes. Oh, I love that, okay. Yeah. And I, you'll probably see me in the thing, I... Okay, what about this group? What y'all? Yeah, so we first started at the party, right? And so, so at first we just um, decided to see what the plan was, strategize, and then um, so the first thing was to just split up in separate rooms. Uh, we have the gentleman's room, now the um, the women's quarter, right? And so we're like, okay, why don't we just like separate and then see how the room feels for you guys? Maybe it's like a party vibe, maybe it's like more of a you know sad funeral kind of type vibe. But we'll fill it out first and then see what you know, come together and see like what they, what they thought, right? Smart. Um, and then work our way from there. Um, if we still didn't get anything or if there was like less um, activity that we would expect to get, then we would, just, the second plan was to basically, okay, we'll have the females on one side and the females on the other side. We didn't get to that point though, unfortunately. Um, but um, I think you said like there was some weird, um, with the painting of Marx, um, if you would, um, 
people would tell about that, but um, like if you flash your light, I guess, towards it or away from it, it would kind of like the reflection of it or something would make it like distorted or something like that. Well, that's um, what they yeah. were thinking. Yeah, with that. They got yeah. something like that, yeah, probably. Yeah. And um, yeah, so the next thing we did was. Uh, we were downstairs, we felt like we heard something come through the box. Yeah, that was an interesting one. Uh, we thought we heard, we asked for the name of anyone that was around, and then we got Crystal. Okay, yeah. we thought we heard Crystal. Crystal. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, also the spirit box as well. But we only got the Crystal. It was like the biggest thing that we got so far. That's, cool. and yeah. that's pretty much it. Up happening. here, we thought we heard, we asked if the food was good or bad. We only heard bad. Just bad food, I guess. <laughs> I, I have noticed that people out, and then if you want to check out Jeff's pictures, you can do that. And I'm going to check out the pictures. Me too. Oh. Stay safe. All right, just finished investigating Sorel Reed House. I didn't get too much activity going on, but I'm not I'm not disappointed at all. Not disappointed because I I did a real investigation, <laughs> which is awesome, and I look forward to doing more. Of course. So I'm about to wrap up here. Head back to the hotel and then tomorrow we're going to pick it back up during the daytime and uh, check out some spots in Savannah. See you guys. Green. Yo, what is up everyone? This is Edwin from the Travel Log. Um, I already gave the introduction, but you guys know what it is. I'm over here in Savannah, Georgia right now. It's so peaceful right now. I feel so relaxed. Um, before I went on a paddle boat, um, that was in Charleston. Since we're in Savannah here, um, we're only staying here for one day. So we're trying to take advantage of the time that we have now. Um, and we're gonna hit up a few spots. Haley actually compiled a list of things that we're gonna be doing throughout the whole day um, until around like 4 p.m. We're gonna be heading out. But uh, right now we're in Forsyth Park. Um, this is like one of the main parks here that people usually go to. Um, we have a fountain out in the back, which is really beautiful. If I step out, you can clearly see that. Um, we also have some statues out in the in behind the uh, the camera right now. 
And then we also have some um, we have left and right sides of the park as well. Grassy areas where people can just go um, chill out, vibe, have picnics. Um, we already see a lot of people out there having picnics right now. Um, also on the, the right side of the park, as I'm seeing right now, we also have people playing volleyball, which is awesome. Um, it gives me the sense of uh, community here. A lot of people are really nice here, very friendly. Um, you know, they would love it, you know, if someone comes out and then you can also play volleyball with them too as well. So it's very inclusive, very inclusive. Um, not leaving anyone out, you know, it's bringing people together. I love that stuff. Um, we also have a restaurant here off to my left as well. Um, people you know, going on their casual uh, leisure walks. And it's a pretty chilly day. Um, I was expecting a little bit more warmer weather, but today seems, seems more on the chilly side. We also ate breakfast as well. This place called Cafe M. Um, good place, I recommend it. Um, if you want something light for breakfast as well. Um, they have the choice of uh, whole foods, I would say, uh, where it's like ham and cheese on you know, two pieces of bread, French toast. Um, they also serve also yogurt with that as well. Um, so that was really good. And also you get much tea or the choice of hot beverage as well with um, your regular main beverage that you get, either orange juice or apple. It's really good, Cafe M, recommended. Um, if you're done with that, right close to that, if you go down the cobblestone steps, there's also a, um, a selection of shops that you can also walk through as well, which is great. Um, in case you want something quick uh, to buy or a souvenir, let's say if you want to bring it home. And that's it for now. I'm going to be uh, checking out more of the park and show you more footage of that and then continuing on from that. Again, we're at a different location now. Um, we're at the Bonaventure Cemetery. Um, this is a cool place that I wanted to actually check out. I mean, not just because it's a cemetery and I like the paranormal, um, but there is a particular uh, uh, kid that actually died at a very young age. Um, she died for, from uh, pneumonia, and you know, it's, it's actually a big deal when you're a father, when you're a mother child dies at a very young age um, but she got just very very sick and um, they were living in uh, Boston Massachusetts at the time and they had to come to Georgia um, she's the only family member um, you know around well, Georgia and so they had to basically um, come over here and create this uh, gravestone here that you see um, beautiful gravestone actually um, and it shows how she actually looked like too um, which is pretty eerie at the same time too, uh, when you look at it. But, you know, I think this is like probably like the best thing that they could have done to actually you know, come and do a remembrance. Um, and you can also see here on the steps right here, we have the, the full name, which is Gracie Watson, where it puts her full name. Um, 
Watson is spelled out, carved out here in the steps as well, um, her last name. And people just drop pennies here, um, you know, in remembrance. And also we have a flower here that's not supposed to be removed. Um, they say if you do remove the flower, that um, blood, tears start running down her face. Um, that is what they say. I don't know if it's actually true, but uh, interesting if it is. And we also have here on the, the left side is a small little plastic shoe as well. Um, I believe that's there because she did like to dance and she also did like to sing. Um, and just to know that, you know, those two things, it's... But yeah, that, in, in short, that's how it actually went down. And I'm going to give you a close-up of it, actually, just to move the camera up a little bit. And also you have here a little summary with the dates on it as well. And she died at the age of six. How do I know that? Because I just read it off the stone. <laughs> um, but that's basically it. And I'm going to let these people through because we are really eager to see this. <laughs> so am I. And uh, we'll go to the next location. We're at the Oakland Wildlife Center. That's required off. Let me get my mask. Oh, right here, you can get like pretty close to them. That was a fun little movie. That's his, that's his stuff. Is that his name? So different.
Just did you do it? Could you give me? Could he be giving a tour? Right There's a ruin here, a historical ruin made out of different kind of materials. We have oyster shells in there, we have lime. It gives it a nice plaster texture. And um, it's dirty enough for, you know, any kind of artillery weapons if they were to try to penetrate through. They can't really do that because of the material it's made out of. a uh, little colonial area depicted of the actual time period a lot of house here you can actually go upstairs There's nothing really much to see, it's just a bed mattress. Made out of, made out of wood. I'm trying to eat right now. Woke up. Um, feeling a little tired. Yeah. Um, not a morning person. As you guys can tell, but we're trying to find the cafe end. Oh, okay. And that I'll show you this passageway here. To so come down here, you go through like a cobblestone driveway. I smell pizza. It's crazy trying to find a breakfast place. In the current setup. Beautiful golden dome structure down there. Got some good stuff here. This is the yogurt. The layering on that. Got a tea, orange juice, apple, coffee, right? Hot tea. This one. Hot tea. We got the same thing basically. Yeah. Just different, slightly, slightly options. Alright. Check this out. 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 Check
check this out. I mean, this is the kind of stuff I do at home. I mean, it's very simple. Yeah. I don't put the breakfast in this. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of toast. Yeah, yeah, we're supposed to put the put that in between the toast, though. I think so. I don't think people eat them separately like that. But I don't know. market actually. Not even to buy here. If you want to, it's <laughs> Get that as a, as a uh, souvenir. What's the process of like making the marshmallow soap like this? Yeah, so it's called the cold process, which is kind of an interesting concept because basically it gets to like 220 degrees. So the cold meaning is mix, you mix things together and they get hot versus a hot process, which is like there's some like kids who want to do like uh, make molds or something like that. Yep. They do what's called a hot process. <laughs> 
Alright, what do you want? Alright, what do you want? Stand right there, take a picture. Smells like wood. Yeah, we gotta go anyways. Can't stick around. That's some decent shots. Here. Hey, do you like veg? Want to eat this oh man, I wish they had mine. They don't have yours either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is. Yeah, you're. See? See, See how people uh, people know. They just know. You know, there's only like three people there. 